everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is going to be the third update for my 19 in 2019 project plan. It's going to be quite a good update in my opinion, so let's get straight into it. After my last update, the update number two, I did have 13 products left in this project. And I do have three empties, so I do have still 10 products left. But let's first go through the empties. The first thing is that I finished this Barry M Hydrofix Primer Water and there you can see my progress. So as you can see my progress with this one has been quite consistent. So I was actually expecting to finish this and I'm glad I did finish it because this is more like a hydrating primer and the warmer it gets and the closer we get to summer the less I actually need a hydrating primer. Then I did finish a couple of brow products. I actually did put four brow products to this project and two I finished earlier and now I do have two empties so I don't have any more brow products left. And actually with my brow product collection I am where I want to be. There is nothing else I really want to pan. There are just holy grail products and it makes me super super happy. And yeah. But let's go through these two brow products. I did finish this Urban DK Gwen Stefani brow box. And let me show you where I was in the last update. As you can see, now all of the powder is gone. I wasn't quite sure if I was able to finish it after the last update and between this one, but I actually was able to finish it only a couple of days ago, so I'm really glad. I do have another brow powder in my collection, but I'm honestly happy with having only one, so I'm glad this is now gone. And the another brow product I did finish is this Catrice Eye Brow Filler Gel. This one I have tried to pan since last October. I did put this into my Budget Beauties project pan. That was a fantastic ladies collab. And I did put it also to this project because I wasn't sure how long it will take to finish it up. And now it's finally gone. Actually, I did take the stopper out. And since I took it out, I do see that there is still some product, but it's so gross and difficult to use now that it's done for me and yeah I was able to use everything I could with the stopper on and now it's just too messy so I don't want to bother with it anymore. Anyways this was not my favorite brow gel because it really didn't hold my brows on place and that is the only thing I want brow gel to do. Okay I do have 10 products left in this project and first I want to mention that there is three products I have not used yet during this project because they are complexion products in my summer shade. So the Elf Acne Fighting Foundation, the Too Faced Born This Way Foundation and the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in medium light. All of those are too dark for me right now so I will start to use them when I do get tan. I don't think I will still be using them in April but perhaps in May or at least in June I will start to work on these products. Okay, so I do have here this Pixi Correction Concentrate that is like a peach color under eye corrector and yeah, I have been using it a little bit more than previously. I have realized that if I really want to finish it, I need to use it every day. Previously, I didn't use this if I was using my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, because to be honest, I don't need a peach under eye corrector with Shape Tape. But now I have been using this no matter which concealer I have been using. And anyways, I have enjoyed to mix more lightweight concealer and then put there just a little bit of shape tape to make the result to be a little bit more natural but still full coverage. I can show you a um, close up about this one. So as you can see there is quite good progress happening here but I still have not hit the bottom of the jar and I need to work on this even more if I really want to finish it during this project and during this year. So hopefully I will have pan on this one in the next update. 
The next product I have in this project is the Velvetizer from Urban Decay. I actually wasn't using this in January and February because I do use this as a setting powder and it can be really mattifying and almost drying. So I don't think in winter when my skin is quite normal I need powder as mattifying as this one. However, I have been using it a couple of times in March because my tinted moisturizer that I use as light coverage foundation, that one leaves my skin really sticky and this one takes all the stickiness away. I'm sure I will start wearing it more and more the warmer the weather gets. It reads in the back of the jar that there is 8 grams here. I don't know about that and I did use this somewhat in 2018 and I did not weigh it when I first started to use it. But before I used it a single time in 2019 I did weigh it. So this actually weighed at 85 grams after my last update and today I weighed it again and it weighs 84 grams, so the product has gone down by a gram. Okay, then I do have here my Physicist Formula Powder Bronzer. I did repress this after my last update, so let me show you a picture where I was last update with this product before repressing and after repressing. I'm sorry I know the bronzer looks gross, like I don't think I did a too good job of repressing. I mean it's all in pieces but it looks really gross. And I do have a duo fever bronzer brush that kind of breaks the product each time I use it. I kind of hoped that I could finish this product before summer but now I really don't think I can. It's a nice bronzer, I don't mind using it, it's just I'm maybe getting a little bit sick of it. Then I do have two highlighters in this project. So I do have here my The Balm Mary Luminizer and let me show you where I was last month. With This is repressed by the way, but as you can see I have been able to make some progress, but I think the progress is a little bit slower what I was expecting it to be. I don't mind it however, because this is my favorite highlighter. I am wearing it today obviously. It is so beautiful. I think it works with all the makeup looks and it works very well with my skin tone, no matter if I am at my palest like I am currently or if I do have tan. But it's a stunning highlighter, I don't mind using it, but it is the oldest makeup product in my collection and that is why I want to finish it. Then I do have one liquid highlighter in this project, so this is the Barry M Liquid Chrome Highlighter Drops and it is in the shade At First Light. I have not been using this after my last update. I really don't like liquid highlights on my face. I only use them on my body, but this one is a little bit too pink. So I have decided to mix this in with body lotion. However, I have not done it yet, but when it gets warmer, I will do it for sure, so I can have a nice glowing skin. The next product I have here is the Pixie Makeup Fixing Mist, and I only use this to wet my eyeshadows. I don't like to spray this to my face because the rose fragrance is so strong. However, this is very good to wet eyeshadows, and I was actually able to make quite good progress since the last update. In January and in February I was using eyeshadows that don't really require wetting them. However, now in March I have been using more eyeshadows that perform so much better if I wet them. So that is why I was able to make that much progress. Then the last product I have in this project is this perfume from Rihanna. And I don't know if you can really see it, see the lines, but I did go down a little bit. I actually did not mark the progress line in the last update. I did mark it in the update number one. And I have been using this a little bit now in March, but now we are getting to the point of the year when I think this perfume is just too heavy. And I don't think I will be reaching for this one at all before we come to fall. Like maybe in August I could use this, at least in September. But for now I need to take a break of this. I want to move to perfumes that are a little bit more lightweight. Okay, that was everything for today. 
I kind of feel that the easy stuff is now gone. I actually don't think I will have any empties in the next update, but I hope I can have some great progress there. Anyways, thank you for watching this video and see you in my next one. Bye bye.